Hello. This video is titled, We Should Make Generalizations About People from Other Countries. <laughs> this video was started, this video is motivated, because um, somebody told me that I shouldn't make generalizations about people from another country, and the example that they gave me was, what if they said that, because they're Argentinian, what if they said that every American was a Homer Simpson? Wouldn't that piss me off? And actually, no, that wouldn't piss me off. Um, it would intrigue me, and I would want them to explain themselves, and I guess I would even help them along. I'd say, well, you think every American is fat and drinks beer all the time? I, I guess that's what they were saying. Um, and I would say, well, yeah, Americans are fat, but that's because our food is so good. We have good fast food restaurants all over the place, and we just like to eat. And um, I would beg to differ about the alcoholism. I think uh, Irish people drink more and Russians drink more and Finns drink more and um, probably even the English have, have a bigger beer culture than America. We don't drink that much beer. We're fat because we eat. So, um, so I think the person was saying like you shouldn't you shouldn't say bad stuff about other countries. You shouldn't make generalizations because that makes people feel bad about themselves. I think we need, I think what makes somebody feel bad about yourself, about people's self, is when you would say something bad about a specific person. Um, that's worse than saying something, uh, saying something or, or, or relieving, revealing negative qualities about an entire culture. Because when you're saying something negative about an entire culture that's not your own, you're not attacking a certain person. And if somebody gets their feelings hurt, it's because they are one of those people. And if they're not one of those people, if they don't have those qualities, then they're not going to get their feelings hurt. They're just going to go, oh, interesting. Or they're going to go, oh, yeah, I understand what you mean. Yeah, they shouldn't be like that, but it's not me. Or, or uh, oh, yeah. Um, I see what you mean, but you're not right about that. And it and it's a spark for a conversation. But saying something negative about attacking a person personally, I I still don't think that's that's not as nice as as, as, as saying a generalization about a country. But I still don't think it's that that's even a bad thing as long as you give a reason why you're saying something negative about somebody. If you say like you're an angry person. I would expect you to tell me what I said that caused you to think that I was an angry person. I would expect you, or maybe it wasn't something I said, maybe it was like the tone of voice that I had or the facial expression that I made when I said it, but to, but to at least say that. Um, there's this person, I won't say who it is, um, who actually went that way. I, I, I said something, I go... It was my video about outsourcing. Well, I guess everybody knows who it is now. But, um, and they go, well, yeah, you shouldn't say negative stuff about people, about gener countries. And I go, well, yeah, it's just part of the conversation. You want to, you want to, um, you want to start conversations. That's a good way to start conversations because then they could say, oh, well, those people or, or us, we're not like that because. Um, or other countries are more like that because they do this and that. Um, you probably think this because... And then you can go on and on and on. But what happens over and over again, um, like with me when I talk to people, is you get about one or two round. You get about two rounds in. I say something, and then they counter what I said. And again, I think the person countering that was the Homer Simpson thing. So then I counter that. And then they counter by just telling me, by just attacking me personally. This person just said that I was an angry person and that I needed professional help. But they never said why. And uh, the same thing happened to me about a month ago. I was, uh, <laughs> this person, I keep bringing him up. He's going to get pissed if he sees this video. This, yeah, is this person who uh, started a YouTube channel called Kyle's Durango Roommate. Who's this? crazy roommate that I had, this fundamentalist Christian. And, uh, and I mentioned him in one of my videos because I said that, uh, he said that um, he hated the secret because the secret was like um, saying stuff that was impossible 
So then he, he actually saw that video. I guess he's been like stalking me or something. And he goes, yeah, because um, the secret is stupid because what if what you can't just be a million a millionaire and I go well you know you can't just think of something and have it and I go well you can uh, you can if you want to be a uh, he said billionaire and I go well if you want to be a billionaire just just study something that pays a lot of money and then you can be a billionaire and he's like what not not everybody's a billionaire so maybe not billionaire but like you could be a multi-millionaire if that's all you cared about if you dedicated your life to making money um, but anyways, and I was expecting him to come back with me at a, for a third round, and that's when he started attacking me personally, saying, Oh, you, you tried to steal weed from me when I was asleep. I've, I've got a whole, that's a whole other conversation. And then he's said all sorts of other stuff, like, you know, why, is that why you don't have any friends? And I guess he's referring to my Facebook friends or something, but, and then like, you know, YouTube subscribers, all this like shit, man. They just start attacking you personally, and that is, that's not, that's not right. And we need to do something to teach people, motivate people to stay on, stay focused on the argument uh, that, that started in the first place. For example, my video, outsourcing. I guess I said some mean things about third world people. My video, and I'm gonna, this is a subject that I'm gonna have to open the gates to and just keep continuing talking about. Um, but basically what I said was, I think outsourcing is good. As long, any kind of digital outsourcing we should do as much of as possible because it's free to talk on the phone, like Indian people, tech support. Um, but we shouldn't be importing stuff from like wine and grapes and stuff from Chile because that's expensive to ship when you can just grow it in your own country and you shouldn't um and um and as and as far as like um and then I started talking about like releasing borders like like um tariffs we should try to get rid of all the tariff laws and have them so that they don't they don't um just help really rich people who pay the premiums so then the huge companies only get to deal with the tariffs and everybody else all the you know the smaller entrepreneurs have to pay some huge amount of so basically it makes it impossible so it's it's not really it's not really free trade it's only free trade for rich people but and then i started talking about um like um one day we're gonna want to re relinquish the borders and i really want to see the borders go away let mexicans just come into america if they want and Indonesians come into America and people move around, but I, I I laid some responsibility on these third world people that they would have to bring them their level up to first world level for them to deserve to come to America because and I just so that's when I just started talking about negative aspects of third world countries and I guess that's what upset this person because they were Argentinian and they've got their share of problems. Um, and so then they say, well, don't make any generalizations about, about a country, about people. And, but they didn't say what generalization that I made. They just said, you shouldn't make generalizations about people. And that basically, what you're doing when you do that is you're basically trying to censor. You're saying, don't talk about that. It's a sensitive subject. And because it's a sensitive subject and it uh, upsets people, don't talk about it. Well, I'm talking about a country. I'm not talking about a specific person. And I mean, and, and even then, I don't think talking negatively about a specific person is bad as long as you give up, give examples and stuff and reasons, you know, but just saying that, oh, you know, you're mentally ill, you're emotionally ill, you need help. Um, and I guess this person sent me a bunch of messages last night, but I didn't read them yet because they were going to send me something along. And they're just trying to give me some lesson about past lives and stuff. They're just, just avoiding the, con the, con the, the conversation of the video, which is basically what we need to do is, I think, well, this is kind of splitting into two parts. One of them is third worlders need to bring their level up if they're going to, you know, be considered first worlders and like worthy of coming to first world, which is a tech, a sensitive subject. But the other subject is I should be allowed to, I should be encouraged to talk about that kind of stuff because it's what I believe. People should be encouraged to talk about whatever they believe, whatever they believe.
If somebody says, and I had this conversation with my brother a few years ago, I go, I go, yeah, man, free speech, man. People should be able to say whatever they want, man, on the, like YouTube and stuff. And my brother goes, what? That's bullshit. What if I, I shouldn't be, what if I said all, all, all blonde people should be shot? I shouldn't be able to say that. And I go, yeah, you should. You should be able to say that on YouTube and encouraged to say that in YouTube. Imagine if everybody said, I would love to have Ku Klux Klan people on YouTube sp spouting their Ku Klux Klan philosophy. I saw Ku Klux Klan's people, this woman and this man, this fat lady and this like goofy looking fat dude, going on for like a half hour about, and they were dead serious about, um, you know, how affirmative action is, is, is bad against white people and they had all these examples of, but they were really stupid and they just kept, they, their point wasn't very, <laughs> they didn't give any specific examples or, or, um, or um, um, remedies or anything. They just sounded really stupid. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so I don't think people getting up like that on YouTube is dangerous. I think it's just funny. And in the long run, it's it's actually good to bring out and and I, and I was I would say good for them. I wouldn't I wouldn't go oh fuck you you're a you're a white supremacist pig piece of shit you should die because that's not that's not a that's not um, that's not conversating that's just creating bad energy out of thin air for no reason. Um, I'm gonna do a video tomorrow. I, I wanna I wanna copy and paste all the comments, but I'm gonna do a video um, actually reading all the negative comments that I've gotten on my YouTube page in the last two weeks just so that I can and I probably maybe I should have done it as part of this video but I'll have it as a part two to this video just as an illustration to show how people fucking do not know how to argue they don't even want to do that they just want to attack the person they literally they just go oh you're a retard you sh you're a moron your mama made a mistake you know this like Okay, uh, well, I don't know what I'm going to say to that, you know. Um, and I think the reason people don't know how to argue is because they get upset when somebody speaks because they don't understand, they literally don't understand the concept of people just speaking their mind. People should speak their mind, whatever the fuck it is. Um, there's this other video that, that reminds me that I saw the other day, and it's titled, White Supremacist Gets His Ass Beat. And I go, oh... Because I was looking for, um, I was looking for like fights. Sometimes I like to watch fights. Um, I don't know. I guess that's that. It's the animal side of me when I get bored. So I click on the video, and what it is is it's this totally level-headed white guy. Okay, he has short hair, so maybe they thought he was a skinhead. But it's this totally cool, really nice white dude in L.A having a sign that says, and the big sign says, stop the Mexican hordes from coming into America. And he was just trying to get up there saying, we need to make more immigration laws because Mexican hordes. And so then these Mexicans come up to him with a white person, a white person and a couple of Mexicans. And they're like, hey man, what the hell are you doing? You, you racist, you saying, calling us hordes? What you doing calling us hordes? And he goes, no, no. Hordes are large groups of people crossing into another country that that's what they are they're hordes it's kind of like this um this politician got in trouble for saying he didn't want mexican peasants to come into america and then they got pissed off at him for calling him peasants but then he goes no but peasants are illiterate farmers and that's what they are so um but anyways and so then they're like um what else did they say to him? He was he was just trying to have an intelligent conversation with them, and they were just kind of trying to make him out to be this like white supremacist. And I didn't get to the part where they beat his ass because <laughs> I had to. Uh, I had the place closed. I think the Starbucks closed at that point, and I left, and I didn't watch the rest of it. But um, but yeah, it's like people like not respecting people speaking their mind. People. People, you know, arguing a little bit, but then they just turn it into this personal attack. And, uh, and it doesn't, it, the, the best thing that, I mean, so maybe I should go back to the whole third world people need to, need to bring their levels up. Um, the world is a level playing field. A lot of people are saying, oh, the world's not a level playing field. Third world people don't make enough money and it's all because of the fault of the white people and, 
or the Americans because they, um, you know, multinational corporations siphon off all the money or whatever. But I don't really, I don't see it that way. I see it countries that invent stuff, sell stuff. And if, if you're in a place where everybody's smart and they're exporting all this stuff that's, um, you know, tech, high technology stuff to other people who don't ha really have anything to offer, then the, those people are going to be richer. That's just how it works. And then these third world countries, the, the people, the peasants there are so poor because their rich people are basically not sharing any of it. The rich people, like in Chile, the, you know, doctors and lawyers and stuff, especially lawyers and business owners and stuff, they make more money than, than their counterparts in America, I think. And, um, cause, I mean, I know that, like, stuff for them, like pool entries and gym entries and movies and stuff are actually more expensive in a lot of cases than in America because it's like just for the rich people, you know? But, um, yeah, so I was just saying, if we, wanna, if we wanna open up the borders and let these people come in, then those countries should change first a little bit about how their laws are, uh, make laws that are, that are more free, um, that respect freedom of speech. A lot of these countries don't respect freedom of speech. I mean, I don't even have to get in on that because that's off common knowledge. They outlawed Facebook in Saudi Arabia. Uh, you literally would get murdered for being part of the wrong party in China. Um, I mean, the stuff that some of these countries did as late as the 80s was just appalling, man. Like Romania, which is a fucked up country. I went there and the Romanians have problems, emotional problems. But... Uh, and I'm not going to get in on that because I'm not talking about a specific person. I'm talking about a country that I'm, that I'm, that I'm generalizing. But if you want to attack me on that, which I would encourage you to do, attack is a great word to use, then let's do it. And I'll tell you why. I'll give you examples. But anyways, yeah, Romania, man, back in the 80s, Ceausescu farmed all these kids. He forced people to have like five babies and then they'd separate the babies from the people and they'd have these huge hospitals of just people and they'd be in their crib and they wouldn't be able to walk until they were like five six years old and most of them started to die because then Ceausescu came out of power and they didn't have the money for that program so they just shit their pants and pee in their pants and and then just wither away and die and so then some Americans would would um, adopt them and they'd you know they'd have like problems but and now they've a lot of them moved into the street and now they're like I guess they're mistaken as gypsies and causing problems there and um, and this is all because of communism, because of the b big guy having all the power and basically telling people what to do. And, um, you know, I mean, I, we don't have to get in on what Stalin did and what Mao did. And, and, um, and like, and it's these countries that, I, that, that get upset if you say stuff. Why should you say that? You shouldn't say that. You're a dick. Because they don't understand the concept of just talking. Talking and expressing your ideas about something doesn't mean... That you're an asshole. If, if even if you say negative stuff about people, even if you are an idiot asshole, like uh, Ku Klux Klan, well, how come I don't see Ku Klux Klan? Well, I forgot to do this, this search. I'm going to do it today. But how come th there's no Ku Klux Klan on YouTube? I want to see Ku Klux Klan on YouTube and see people doing white supremacist. I looked for it a couple years ago and I didn't see it. I'm going to look for it again. But you know, if I had Ku Klux Klan on YouTube, I'd watch it and I'd hear what they're saying. And if I commented on their videos, and I think I'm going to start commenting on videos, I was a little bit reluctant to comment on videos because when I, I have it set so when I comment on videos, it gets posted on YouTube, and I didn't want to piss off like my YouTube friends by getting too many comments. But but now more and more of my YouTube friends are actually people who are subscribers to me on you on face on YouTube. So my Facebook friends are subscribers to me on YouTube. So maybe I will just start because I think they would be interested in what I have to say on other videos too. Because the people who subscribe to me on YouTube are subscribed to me because they're interested in me as, as a person as opposed to like specific things that I talk about. But um, yeah, maybe I'll do that. But if I did start commenting on like you, you, uh, uh, Ku Klux Klan videos, people saying just stupid, evil shit, I wouldn't go, oh, you're a dirtbag piece of shit. You should be in jail. Your mama probably dropped you on the head. That's not arguing. I go, I go, okay. Um, black people created America. So they own America just as much as you do because they were the ones who planted it. 
you know, black people are just as smart as Americans because just as soon as uh, there was reconstruction that you had black, you know, justices and black uh, lawyers and stuff. I mean, look at that black judge. He's smart. Look at this black person. He's smart. They read books. They've been, I could list a whole bunch of inventions. A black American invented the, this traffic light. And black people invented a whole bunch of chemical stuff, you know. And that's why black people are just as smart. And you would argue that. You don't have to go into the whole, oh, you've got emotional problems. You're retarded. And the reason people do that is because they don't respect, they don't understand the concept of speaking your mind. And that's the thing, that's the thing that Americans are into the most. I think that when people get upset about me saying something and attack me, I'm pretty sure that they're third world people. Most of the people who say negative stuff about me, they don't list where they're from, and I wish they did, and they don't list how old they are. They actually don't list anything about themselves at all. Zilcho, which is frustrating to me because I, I like to, I want to like, I think it's really interesting to know about somebody who would say a certain kind of a thing. But, um... That's why these countries have so much, so many countries had so many big problems as of the 80s. Chile. Um, and I'll talk about Chile because Christian's Little Helper asked me to talk about that. And I'm also going to talk about Argentina because Christian's Little Helper talk, asked me to talk about that. But Chile and Argentina, actually. Chile had these, um, they voted this uh, communist, Allende, into office. So then he was about to kill all the rich people mow them down with machine guns and take over the country just like Stalin did and turn it into a dictatorship. So then Pinochet, the military dictator, murders Allende and 30,000 of his followers. And then he's the military dictator for 18 years and doesn't let anybody um, leave, leave their houses after the sun goes down for 18 years. And uh, same exact thing happened in, uh, in, in Argentina. Now this kind of stuff happens because people don't communicate with each other and that's a whole nother video because as I said, Christian's little helper asked me to do a video about those. But there's all sorts of other countries and the, the, that have those problems and the reason countries have those problems is because people don't communicate. There's the thing that they say that they're going to do on the, on the channel and then there's the thing that they're really going to do and you know, but when they're up there on the TV they act really nice and smiley smiley. Oh, and oh, and oh, look, wasn't that a nice guy? He didn't say anything negative about anything. Oh, what a great guy. Next thing you know, he just killed a bunch of people. You know? Or he got busted for lying about how many taxes he made. And turns out he just took over. Hostile takeover of all the other companies. Now he's got the monopoly. You know? Come on, man. What makes you a bad person? Saying what you what's on your mind or... or uh, or, or not saying what's on your mind. Like Sarah Palin, I did a video about Sarah Palin yesterday. That, that lady, man, she does. She lies through her teeth. She said that she didn't she didn't watch her, her, her uh, Tina Fey impersonation of her with the sound turned up. What a lie. Obviously she watched it with the sound turned up. Anybody who watches a, a skit of themselves watched it with the damn sound turned up. What the hell was she so busy? She doesn't have time. If she has the time to watch it, with the sound turned down, she's gonna have it time to watch it with the sound turned up. What is she a multitasker? Did she learn? Does she learn with audio encyclopedia there all the time in her ears? Of course not. Watch it with the sound turned down. Give me a break. Um. Yeah, man. Um. Yeah. So making basically making generalizations about countries is is the perfect way to open up those floodgates and start the conversation going and talk about this and argue this point and then we can talk about these kinds of people and those kinds of people and these people should do that and those people don't do that and should do that and I'd love to have that conversation about America. Americans don't care if you talk trash about Americans but you know when, Amer when people do talk trash about Americans, third worlders they don't do it even in it, they don't do it in a constructive way they just go you know like a Serbian goes oh Americans are evil people I don't even understand how they how they're even classified as people. That's a direct quote from 10 years ago when they had that battle because they were pissed off that Americans were helping the Kosovars. And so they say that about Americans, that they're not even people. Um, you know, and the French people, oh yeah, we hate Americans. You know, I met like, I mean, they're, French were total assholes to me when I went there. 
And then I asked them, like, I was in, like, Romania or, like, Hungary. Saw some, like, young French girl, and I was like, yeah, is it true that French don't like Americans? She's like, yeah. Yeah, French don't like Americans. And it's like, why? And I think, actually, the answer is, oh, because you, you go around and you take over the world. You know, big, big uh, empire. It's like, yeah, but that's the government. That's not the American people. But anyways, you know, that's not something to get upset about. I wouldn't go, if you said that about an American, I wouldn't go, oh, fuck you, you're an angry person. I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even say, fuck you, you're a bad country because you don't like Americans. I would go, I would just stick to the point, man. And so, oh, and this person also said that they unsubscribed to me. Look, people shouldn't, people shouldn't start YouTube channels just so that they can um, get as many subscribers as they can. Not everybody can become a partner and make money on YouTube, okay? That's the only, and it's more and more as time goes on, it's going to get more and more specialized. The people who make money on YouTube are people who like make very specific kinds of videos that certain kinds of people are really interested in and so that they subscribe to them and they watch them over and over. You know, like Ray William Johnson, he does the videos where he makes jokes about viral videos and he does three of them a week, two times a day, two times a week. I think that shit is so funny. And that's why they get subscribers. But like normal people who have videos, I mean, I guess some people, yeah, like some like, oh shit, people who like, people are really interested in um, could possibly make subscribers, but that shouldn't be the goal for people. The goal for people should be to talk and say stuff. And I think that's why I'm going to start commenting on other people's videos and see if they argue, see if they come back with me and talk about stuff. <clears throat> but, um, you know, a lot of the times people don't even comment back anyways. I mean, the last two people I've emailed haven't even comment, private messages with questions, haven't even commented, haven't even answered me back. You know, I asked Susanna from Body Rock, I was like, yeah, is there, is there any place on your website? Like, do you have any of those other exercises where you have it timed? Didn't answer me. And I, and I give comments on people. Sometimes they answer me. But it's like... <clears throat> um, people, should, people should make videos because they're expressing their minds and what they think about stuff. And not so that they can like get subscribers. And that's not why I do it, man. There's no way I'm going to be able to... I'm never going to be able to be a, a uh, partner and make money. As long as the FCC has that no four-letter word rule. That's one of the rules for being a subscriber. I read it a couple years ago. If you say four-letter words on your videos, you can't be a subscriber. And I, I, I accidentally say a four-letter word in every one of my videos. I can't help myself. So it's like, okay, no more of that. So why in the fuck would I care how many subscribers I have, man? I'm just doing my job. Besides, the less subscribers I have... The less people who watch my videos, the less comments I'm going to get and the less time I'm going to be wasting commenting back. I like commenting back on videos, but I don't want to like get in the situation where like I'm, all these people are saying nasty shit to me and then I don't have the time to fucking get back with them in an intelligent way. So, so yeah, man, the first thing, the most important thing we need to do to bring our country back to a higher level, or not back, up to a higher level of society is to, is to get that communication flow going. You know, we need to think of each one of us as being like a separate cell, okay, in the big brain of America, of the world as a whole, with each cell having its own little uh, idea to contribute, and 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 flowing those 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 thoughts back and forth and all over the place. And so, any any act of suppressing that, of not encouraging that of trying to discourage people from saying what they have to say, whatever the fuck it is, even if they're a stupid idiot asshole, whatever it is, anything to discourage them from doing that is going to discourage that idea of the free flow of the electrons and all the ideas coming from all the little cells communicating and activating the brain of the world. Because if you, if you, if you let if you pump in the blood and let all that information circulate and let let everybody's minds go and their minds talk and their ideas flow and their emotions flow and go out, if you allow that, the only thing that's going to happen is good. The, the world, the brain's going to wake up and become good and self-aware and happy and, and positive. It's not going to become like self-destructive and negative. Self-destructive negative stuff happens when there's a blockage of information. 
It's, it's for everything. If you uh, if you sit around and you don't exercise, all of your muscles are going to collect all kinds of you know uh, waste products because they weren't able to circulate out, and then they're going to turn into negative emotions, and it's going to make you an angry person. You know, kind of like how I've kind of been. I, that's why I'm getting back in exercise. But um, um, and then and then countries that don't allow people to talk. Only Stalin and his cronies could talk and tell everybody else what to do. So we're gonna move this bunches of huge amount of people up to Siberia because they don't agree with us, and then we're gonna kill them. Bring these people over here. Do this. Do that. And then it turns into the and uh, and then like what did what did Russia have to contribute? What did they invent? What did they bring to the rest of the world? They they made a satellite faster than America, but that's about it. They crumbled after that. I mean, it's the biggest country in the world by far. You'd think they'd be able to accomplish a little bit more. They, they I think they're the sixth most populated country. You know, they can't accomplish it. What about the Chinese? They've got three times as many people as America. What do they contribute? Their, their uh, economy is way weaker than America's. And it's because they've got the communism thing where nobody can speak. People would get killed, shot in the rice fields for being part of the wrong. Falun Gong, it's a bunch of hippies doing Tai Chi. And they outlawed it. Countries like, and, and so it's like, is it any coincidence that China isn't contributing to the world? Isn't creating anything new? But there also happen to be a totalitarian regime? No, it's not a coincidence. They're related. Um, you know, and people are like, oh, but fuck you, or not fuck you, but oh, but China's gonna, yeah, China's catching up with America because, because they've got so many people working in sweatshops for that economy, and because they're not paying for any, any of the technology that they get from America, all of their software is bootlegged and stolen, um, anyways, yeah, dude. People who talk and speak and free flow the conversation and stuff need to be need to be encouraged to do that. And if you're gonna like tell somebody that they're, you know, and if you're gonna like say something, if you're gonna argue with me, argue my point. And if you and if you wanted to tell me that I have emotional problems, you're more than welcome to do that. But I'd love it if you told me why. Tell me what I said. Is it because I'm talking loud? I'm just I'm just being animated. Um, it, it sounds better when I talk like that, um, and I'm not I'm not yelling. I never yell in any of my videos. I've never yelled at any of my videos. Only only my drunken videos. But that's because I'm a character actor, and it's for entertainment purposes. Okay. So, yeah, man, we should make generalizations about anybody, man. Any old country. I could if I say that all. You know, oh yeah, and this is something that I get from a lot of people, and also I got from this Argentinian person, because they told me that I said that all, um, I, I said that all third worlders were something. I, I never said, I never ever ever said that all, you know, Argentinians are liars, or all, um, all Jews are, are like greedy. I never said that. That would be ridiculous. All I said was, let's see, what's the biggest generalization I said so far in this video? I said, well, I said French don't like Americans. Did I say all French don't like Americans? No, I didn't say all French don't like Americans. If you don't believe me, rewind the cassette, watch the video over, and when I get to that point, I guarantee you I didn't say all French don't like Americans. I said the French hate Americans. Okay? It's like a, it's like a generalization thing. I could say, I say, my YouTube channel is a man's channel. It's for men, okay? Does it say that all of the people who watch my videos are men? No. It just says that 85% of the people who watch my videos are men, okay? So according to me, it's a men's channel, you know? Uh, San Francisco is a country for gay, is a city of, of gay dudes. What? Not all, all men in San Francisco are gay. I know, 69% of gay men in San Francisco, of men in San Francisco are gay, which according to my idea San Francisco is a gay city okay it's just you, you don't want to put people in boxes oh no you need to get in this box you're a bad person you you just made a generalization you're bad no I'm just trying to talk man I'm out there talking I'm not getting paid for this 
I'm just trying to help people. Okay, and I'm not angry. I'm just I'm just being animated. Okay, so whatever, dude. Come back. Let's talk. Let's do this. Boom, boom. Ha! Woo hoo! It's because it's fun, and it's good for the world. You know, we don't we don't want a world where the boss dude's the only one talking, man. We 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 you go to school and the and the teacher's up there and he's talking. Like in um like in Charlie Brown, and then you're just like, oh god. And at the end of the like your 12 years in school, you look back and you actually never actually had the chance to think. You know, I was asked to do like zero, like one presentation, in in school. It was like 10th grade history class. I did Shinto. That's all I remember. I did a another like really, and this was like five minutes that they gave me. Oh geez, thanks. You gave me five minutes. And this is like, and then in 12th grade, I did like a presentation about Hindu with my two friends. And that was like two minutes. And it was with my two friends. You know, life is about, is about, the life as we've had it until now is about big teacher dude. How blah, blah, blah. And it's this and it's that. And you better do this or else you're bad. How blah, blah. You know? And then you get back, you grow into the world. And then it's, and then you turn on the TV and you got, Bill O'Reilly, I'm boss man, and then, and then you know everybody watching network television. Why are people still watching network television so goddamn much? You have YouTube. You can watch whatever the hell you want. I've been watching stories about um, about uh, this whole presentation about uh, the Civil War on Yale. It's really good. I was actually talking trash about this guy before a couple days ago, but I actually think he's really good now. I just just pissing me off how he was going. He's talking like he was drunk, but I actually like him now, but... Yeah, dude, you could watch literally whatever the fuck you want, man. Think of something, and it's on YouTube. Seriously. Why in the hell are we up there watching network television? Watching the same motherfuckers over and over and over again? It's because we don't know how to talk or communicate. We want to watch the other guy tell us what to do. Because we're afraid that if we did it, we get other people coming and telling us that we have emotional problems. We're angry. We're retarded. Our mother made a mistake. Anyways, that's another video, and that's going to be part two to this video, maybe. But it's the video, why people try to suppress people's, like, ideas or, or just are just angry and don't try to com communicate. Whatever. I know what I'm going to title the video, but I'm going to actually read all the negative comments that I've had on my YouTube channel the last two weeks, and they are fucking hilarious, dude. I swear to God. They're fucking hilarious, dude. So, we need to break out of that. We need to do it so everybody's talking. Everybody's, everybody's saying whatever the hell they want, and you know, if somebody's saying stuff, and and, and the the basic new meter for uh, quality, cream of the crop rise to the top. Well, what's going to be the meter of that quality of people? It's going to be originality. It's not going to be, well, you know, and who's the best at saying something in an entertainment way? You know, they're going to, and that's those are going to be the people who say stuff and you know, puts, put information together in a way that's informative and not, it doesn't attack other people because attacking other people like Bill Riley does, doesn't have any, uh, it's zero calorie, it's zero, uh, nutrient calories. It doesn't have any effect. It doesn't actually teach you anything. So the people who actually explain and teach stuff, you know, teachers, you know, like the Yale professors or people who, who are just like, um, who are just like really entertaining and, um, but you know, but because, but in a more democratic way, because people choose to subscribe to them and watch them, not because, because Ted Turner decided that he was going to hire this person and now they're put in place and they're on top, kind of like Sarah Palin, they just elected her, you know, we have to have it so that's this whole everybody has a choice. But the only way that's going to happen is if everybody can make videos and talk about whatever they want, and not have to worry about getting insulted because that's what it is when somebody tells you that you have mental problems, emotional problems, without giving a reason why, and even if you do give a reason why, if it's a stupid reason, it's still an insult. Um, people don't make videos because of that, man. People don't want to hear that shit. And, and you, you watch videos on YouTube, and a lot of people disable their comments. And it's because they don't want to hear that shit, man. And personally, I like hearing that shit. That's why I don't disable comments and I comment back. But, you know, like this one person, who I keep talking about this, the, uh, the motivation for this video actually told me that they didn't want me to comment back on them because it hurts their feelings on my video. You don't want me to comment back to you on my video. 
And so I actually didn't comment back on them, but then I watched another video where they commented, and that's when they they were continued this whole I have emotional problems and I need professional help thing, and so I go, okay, I'm going to comment back. But you know what the funny thing is? Is that's not the first time that's happened with me. It's happened at least one time that I remember, I think two, but at least one where somebody was being extremely hateful. I, it was one of my exercise videos, and I kept commenting back, and they're like, fuck you, stop commenting back. And it's like, dude, it's my video. <laughs> People, like, they, they attack you, and they think, all of a sudden, they think that they're, attack they're getting attacked on their video, but it's my video. <laughs> Anyways, uh, needless to say, that person, that really, that total dick attacking me on my exercise video, didn't have any videos of themselves. No information about themselves. And you know what? And I'm talking about third world countries because it's true. The people who, are, who say stupid shit and who are dicks, I don't know anything about them. I don't know where they're from. I don't know how old they are. I don't even know what they've favorited. All they have is the most basic freaking channel you could possibly imagine. And then the next level up from that would be people who you don't know how old they are or where they're from, and but they have favorites. And then the favorites have nothing to do with education. It's like, it's like screen captures of video games and stuff. And then, um, but the, uh, from what I see, and maybe I'll do like an actual <coughs> scientific uh, thing about this, but what I see is that the people, the only people really talking are people from like America, man. America, England, Canada, Ireland, people from like first world countries. Third world people, I don't see them talking. I know they speak English and I don't see them out there actually talking because they come from countries where you're not supposed to talk, dude. Like Burma. You really think somebody from Burma is going to be up there talking trash about their country, about the leaders of their country? Hell no. There was this guy. Um, he was this Thai guy. I saw it on Yahoo News the other day. He, 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 he posted a link to his blog to about a book that I guess was saying negative things about the king of Thailand. And then he moved back to Thailand and he posted this four years ago. And so now the king, the Thailand's going to throw him in jail for like 18 years because of that. Yeah. No freedom of speech in these countries, man. Um, Spain is having this big battle with Google. They're trying to force Google to take away information about people. Censor Google because it because and it was like all these different Spaniards. It was the Spanish plastic surgeon because he uh, he was pissed off that when he Googles his name like and if you search deep enough, you can find like records of him getting sued like 15 years ago. Every doctor gets sued in one point in their life. And then all these other people like some lady had like a nasty divorce or a car wreck. And so they want to like sue Google and censor Google. These aren't like Illuminati you know, black government people trying to censor YouTube and the internet. It's normal, paranoid ass people who don't, country, coming from countries with histories of suppression, like Spain. Spain had the, uh, had the Spanish Civil War right before World War II in the late 30s, which was just, uh, it was the fascists against the, the uh, monarchists, the Frankists. And they just murdered each other and killed each other and you know, and basically if you, you know, and basically just because they were, they were from the, the different party. I mean, it got really ugly like that, which basically tells you that they didn't respect freedom of speech at all. You know, it's like just because I'm part of a party or I believe this doesn't mean that I should be murdered, you know. And then fast forward it up to 2011. Same, same thing, man. Just because I say something about something doesn't mean I'm a bad person or I have emotional problems or I'm retarded or I shouldn't be making videos. All it means is that there's one thing that you said which you forgot to mention that you disagreed with that you really, you really should argue the point and not, and just stick to the point, man. Don't go after the person, dude. Um, I could go on, but 44 minutes, it's going to be up to two gigs and I don't want to have to blood boss this in two pieces. So, man. Saying generalizations about country is, is the best way to get your foot in the door and get those conversations going, okay? Because I'm talking about a specific country. I'm not talking about a person. I'm not attacking anybody. I'm just trying to open the doors to conversation, okay? And I do want countries, I, need, I want those third world countries to have value for, for freedom of speech because if they, they did, then their countries by themselves would become more fair and they would, they would have a higher GDP, and then we, would, we wouldn't be so freaked out about letting them come to our, our country. We don't want some crazy person from some fucked up country to come to America and then spread their bullshit here. Be like, fuck you. 
you know, I'm, I, you know what? If they get rich and they own a newspaper, I'm gonna fire you from my newspaper because you said something I don't agree with. The, the, you know, like that guy back six years ago, eight years ago, who drew the picture of Mohammed in a cartoon. He got fired from his Dutch newspaper because the owner happened to be a Muslim. Okay, a fundamentalist Muslim owned by an a Saudi Arabian. We don't want that shit in our first world countries, man. If you're gonna move to my country, become an American. Don't bring your crap, your third world crap with you. Okay? Okay, I'm out of time, dude.